Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio 96.7, Saturday mornings. This is Voice from Veterans and the rest of us who say we support veterans too. News, commentary, information, education, music, and entertainment. New just for you, 96.7. Now, you've heard the rest. Stay tuned for the best. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio and stay with us all day long. Well, good afternoon, and we're broadcasting right here, and I got to tell you the right name. It's Quaker Steaks and Lube. I want to say I got a bunch of veterans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight veterans sitting out there with me. I'm going to all make them say hello. I got, I'm going to start with the one veteran who's got the nice hair all the way down to the end. This is Keith, the boss of the beach. We're talking to you live. We want to say thank you for all you've done. Happy New Year to everybody who's listening to this radio station. And we want you to know it's WVETOnlineRadio.com, Voice for Veterans. Thank you so much. And I got one person going to say hello right now. She said, something worldwide, Tampa Bay chapter. Hello there. All right, I got another one right here. Hi. Tell them where you served. I didn't serve, but I... I, I He's a brat. He's one of us. <laughs> That's right. And I got one. He got his hat on. He's going to say hello. Hello. He's military police. Hello. You heard him. I'm getting away from him because I might have some old stuff following me. And the man I talked to first, I'm going to say hello to him because he said, no, I'm not Larry. And I'm not nobody. But he's a veteran. Thank you. Hello, United States Marine Corps. Still here. Nothing but a vet. Now, this time, you got to tell him your name. Roger, United States Marine Corps. You heard it first right here, WVET. Roger, United States Marine Corps. And a Vietnam veteran. You know, they don't talk too much, but I wanted him this time. Tell him your name. You got Tim here. U.S. Army and U.S. Navy. The best years of life was 68 and 69. We want to thank all these veterans for coming out here today. I just wanted to say hello and let you guys know that we're reaching out to all of our veterans and asking them to do what they do. I see this guy's holding one of our best newspapers right there in front of me. The Cruise News. All about old cars, and we're out here supporting what they do to support our veterans. We want to thank everybody for tuning in right now, because we've had a good time. I'm waiting on Larry to show back up, and we're going to interview Larry and talk to him about what he's doing to continue to support our veterans. We got Thomas coming on in the next section. He's got a program he's working on to try to support our veterans. I went by the VA office today and I picked up a bunch of new information that I want to share with you. But here's the guy with the best beach shirt on in the world. And he's coming here right now. Hold on one second. Here he is. Hello. He's a brat like me. He's got the best shirt on. I'm going to send you guys pictures. And I'm going to put it on the website. The best beach shirt on the planet. I'm trying to kidnap him and take it, but he won't give it up. He won't give me a shirt. We want to thank everybody again for tuning in. We're having a wonderful time out here enjoying ourselves with a bunch of veterans who are here. 2022 has arrived. It's no longer something that we talk about. It's something that we are living and I want to say to all my veterans, thank you for what you did. And thank you for continuing for what you do. We appreciate it. And we're going to tell you thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. We're going to take an interlude with some music. And we'll be right back.
Well, we're rolling tape right now. I want to say thank you to my veterans out here and to all of those who are not veterans, who are brats, who came along when that time was needed. When daddy got home and he got a little something and he left you and he went back in the war. Okay. Hello. My name is Keith Winslow, the boss of the beach. This is WBET on the air. And I got a gentleman that I'm going to let just say hello and thank all the other veterans from the brat side of town. Hello. Yeah, my name's Richard Fowler from Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, sir. He said thank you to all of our vets. One of the ladies who's here with her husband wants to personally thank all of the vets. Okay? She just walked back over to her area of the parking. I do want to say one thing. Cruise news. A lot of people don't know what it is, but if you like old cars and you're talking about it, he's a veteran. Support Cruise News this for vets. This is all about our veterans today, and all of them are here, and I'm going to have this lady give a personal thank you to the vets. All right, I got a lady who's going to say thank you very much to all of our vets. Hello, I want to thank all of our vets who served. My dad was in the Navy. My nephew was in Vietnam. Thank you very much. And who are you? I'm Pat Tate. And who's your husband? Roger Tate. Roger Tate and Pat Tate's right here. <laughs> the original brats. God bless you and thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, when you're looking around to find information to support our veterans, it's not hard. The Vet Center, downtown St. Pete, and of course at the Bay Pines, offers all of that information. We have a lot more new information that just came to us today from the Vet Center. And I want to talk about it a little bit while Larry is there working with his people. We're here making sure that everybody can get a chance to get a chance to help. Okay? And we want to say thank you to everybody who supports vets. Our program is called We Support Vets Too. What does it mean when we say we support vets too? What it means is that you, somebody whose family was a veteran, who knew veterans, who spent some time talking with veterans, here's your chance to reach out and say, we support vets too. Contact us if you want to be a part of the We Support Vets 2 campaign for 2022. Because we're going to make a difference in America and around the world. One of the things that I've discovered is Veterans Integration Assistance Program still is available. Employment Support Services for the Homeless, Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Veterans, Job readiness services, including life skills, vocational guidance, training, remedial education, and trade certification. Employment support services such as job-related equipment, clothing, and limited transportation. Retention and follow-up support for one year. 2022 is the time that we need to stand up and do this. Okay? We have help now for our veterans, and we want to thank again Joe at the radio station here who's allowing us to broadcast this program and continue to support our veterans. Don't forget, we are veterans helping veterans. If you're so committed, so are we. Veterans Integration Program. That's something that we want to make sure that everybody knows so that you get an opportunity to step up and help a veteran when you can. We appreciate everything, and we appreciate all of our veterans every time we get a chance. And I'm going to take another break and be right back. American Veterans Alliance, WVET, online radio.com. Well, Keith, the boss of the beach, we're back. We hope you enjoyed that little interlude, and we want to make you know a little bit more about what's happening. I got a gentleman on the phone. I'm going to make him give you his name. 
and some contact information because he's one of those who've reached out with the We Support Vets 2 program. All right. Uh, talk to him. Keith, thank you so much for the introduction. My name's Thomas Freeman. I'm the owner of Pangea RX, and we are a, uh, an applied terpene science and cannabinoid brand. And what that means is this. Uh, we realize that uh, the therapeutic value of, of cannabis and, and hemp-derived products uh, are invaluable. And uh, because of a personal family journey, my partner and I fell into this, and, and the products that uh, we initially gave our family um, worked so well that it really compelled us to start a business. So as veterans, uh, obviously, next after our family is – is our friends, and that includes That's our correct. fellow service members. And, and yes, we sir. really, you know, one of our, part of our mission is to really provide products that are not only relevant and pertinent and that work, but that are accessible to our veterans, you know. So we're really proud to be able to be in a position where we are at the forefront of some nascent technology and, and science and be able to make this um, accessible to our fellow okay. uh, service members. Well, one thing I want to know is I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. What I'd like to do is do an extended interview later on this month so we can talk in depth about the rules and regulations, the laws that have been passed to take care of those who don't need oxycodone or any of those other drugs who are willing to take this cannabis and this service as something that's a part of this new generation. Thomas, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Give out a number or something where they can reach you. Certainly. You can check us out at www.pangeaarx.com. You heard him. You can reach us here at WVET Online Radio, and we'll make sure that we make contact. We'll be putting this up on the website. And we want to thank you, Thomas, for calling in. Thanks so much, Keith. All right. Hold on one second. We're getting ready to do something different. We're out here enjoying ourselves. And I got... You're a veteran? No, I'm not. You're a brat. Yeah, yeah, I got a guy out here with the nicest little jacket on, and he's a real brat. I'm going to have him say hello and tell you about why he's a brat. <laughs> hey, this is Jerry. Hello? Hello, I'm Jerry Freeman. I'm the one with the 1941 Cadillac, and uh, and I'm a brat. <laughs> What's going on? I was just, no, talking, with Keith. I was just talking with Keith. I uh, um, own a CBD company that I'm... I'm um, I'm a fellow veteran, and, and I really just want to be able to uh, extend our our um, our products to my fellow vet community. Right. Real pleasure. Well, I appreciate you. it. Uh, me, great, great to meet you here. I'll give you back to him. There you go. You got it. Thank you. Well, I want to say I really appreciate that guy stepping up. We're here to talk about voice for veterans, and I'm realizing now that there are a lot of Brats out here. And a brat is the guy who was born during a time when the soldiers were given babies. Okay? We're all brats. And we serve because we can. We serve in support for anything that a veteran can do because we're family. I want to thank everybody also for taking a moment to come in this time in your life and say, we support Vets too. That's the program. I'm trying to corral this guy down here. He's walking away from me, but I'm going to catch him. He's doing it. Hey, I'm out of here. Hello, this is Keith. Don't forget, this is Voice for Veterans. I got a guy with a Harley Davidson jacket on. It's a vest. I said, I Jacket, it's a vest. I think your buddy smokes um, My buddy oh, does smoke. 
Hold on. Hold share it with me. All right. He's going to share it with you right now. This is Keith, the boss of the beach. He plays harmonica. He's a veteran. I'm going to let him introduce himself, and then he's going to play a little note for us. No, I'm not. I'm going to play a little note first. <laughs> Melvin Barker. Melvin Barker. Live. <laughs> right here, live. You got it right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you serve? What I serve? You serve in Vietnam? No. Okay. I got one Vietnam already. They don't know. 1980 U.S. Marine. Hold on. I got one. 1980 U.S. Marine. I'm here. I'm still alive. Just tell them your name. I was a sniper. Okay, he can't talk too much because he said he was a sm- He can't sniper. talk too much about he was a sniper. I wasn't in the armed services, but I worked for the government. That's good enough. Well, they paid me, you should be, but I don't know. Well, you did, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to thank him. He said he was a sniper and he can't talk about it too much. Well, I want to say something else to you. Today, is one of the few days in the beginning of the first of the year. We have a lot of commitments that we made last year that I'm going to advise everybody to let those commitments go, start all over again. It means something. I'm standing over here close to Larry. I'm going to make Larry say hello and thank everybody and all our veterans supporting this event. Hello. Hello. I'm Larry, and I want to thank everybody that's here and supporting the show and supporting the veterans. Thank you. Larry is the best I've ever interviewed. He doesn't talk much, but he says what's important. He said what's on his mind. Many blessings, Larry. Thank you so much. I see all your trophies. I got a friend of mine named Alan who came out here after the Super Bowl last year with his brand-new Camaro. He had a customized, and guess what? He won a trophy. So all you vets, come out here in this life and step up. I'm getting ready to start spending time, permission, vets, supporting vets. We have a lot of veterans still in America, and they've done a good job. They're picking up the, the work. They're doing the right stuff. They're showing not only their commitment to the war, but their com- commitment to the peace. We want all of our veterans to start supporting other veterans like we did when we were little. You picked up somebody who needed help, and that was your job. What I'm saying is that we have a lot of private companies. We have a lot of different people who do want to support veterans. We're standing up now, Keith, the boss of the beach, live right here at WVETonlineradio.com the only true veterans radio network worldwide. We're joining another bigger network on the air today.com. And of course you're broadcasting right here, St. Petersburg, Florida, Tampa, Clearwater, and the rest of the West coast of paradise. And I'm talking about Florida. And we just realized that we're in the best place in Florida. We got McDill air force base right here across the bridge. We got Bay pines right here on this side of the bridge. And we have a whole lot of services that we're going to now push national. If you happen to be down here from Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Canada, we have a plan down here in the Sunshine State with Sunshine Radio 96.7 FM. Please call a friend. Tell them to tune in to this radio station whether you're listening to it broadcast live or whether you're listening to it, you know what I'm going to say, internet. Please. The next subject I'm going to talk about real quickly here, as I always do it, is Homeless Veterans Resource Guide and Center. We know that we have some homeless veterans here, and we're stepping up with the Resource Center right here. It's part of Florida 
Veterans Foundation, and it's been heavily supported by VFWs, CareSource, Supportive Services for Veteran Families, total program. We got help, and it's here to stay. We want to thank everybody for Gorsuch. Helping a veteran wherever you are. It doesn't matter whether you're in this state or around the world. We got to get help. And we got it. Many years ago, they had a lot of problems with the VA. And I'm telling everybody, stand up and support your VA. Okay? When they initially started, it was just to help a few veterans. Now they've been overwhelmed. And I'm tired with people saying bad stuff about the VA. The VA has done more than anybody could naturally do. And they stood up tall, and they made a difference. The VA, we support you now. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're going to do. And thank you again for what's getting ready to come. We're happy to have you. And we know that there have been some ups and downs, but we're on the up. That's UPPP, Universal Positive Principle Philosophy. UPPP is truly up. Universal Positive Principle Philosophy says, yes, support your veteran. And now that we know that our veterans are getting help, I found one place for a handicap. Disability Achievement Center. Respect, choice, and change. We know that there have been veterans who have hurt. But we got a lot of help for you out there. And we know that this is serving Pasco and Pinellas County since 1992. Whoa, I'm so glad to have you here. It made a big difference to me. And it's going to make a big difference to those who are paying attention. Pass this word on that if you happen to be in one of those situations where you're thinking about moving, consider paradise. We got beaches, sunshine, palm trees, and bathing suits. Keep the boss of the beach talking to you live. Out in the field, talking directly to veterans. And I'm going to give a special shout-out to my guy, Larry, Larry's Car Services. And we were able to broadcast live with a bunch of veterans at his car show. Again, coming up next, don't forget, we're the Renaissance Festival. Always in. Always comes here. We always support it. They always support our veterans. And I'm waiting on them to get back with me so that I can give you an active date when they're going to be giving their discounts to all of our veterans. And we want you to listen. COVID did one thing. It cleaned out the churches. It cleaned out a lot of foolishness. But it made outside entertainment more valuable. So anybody doing outside entertainment, invite your veterans. We'll show up and support you. And we're going to show up and support everybody. We want to thank 96.7 FM again. We want to thank Waddell McGee, Kevin Hughes, and all the team down there in Florida, South Florida, in Miami. They're broadcasting there, too, through WVETOnlineRadio.com. Feel free to call me. Anytime you don't have any information and you want to get more information, go to my website. WVETOnlineRadio.com and look at what we have there. We have a resource. Uh, Click. Go to look at your resources. See if there's something that you may have missed that you now can get involved in with. Again, uh, thank you. And we are happy to be here today. 2022 For all of y'all who still made it, this year is for you. Over and out. With a shout. Tune in again. 24-7. WBET.
www.onlineradio.com. American Veterans Alliance, W-V-E-T, onlineradio.com. We support vets too. W-V-E-T, onlineradio.com. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio 96.7, Saturday mornings. This is Voice for Veterans and the rest of us who say we support veterans too. News, commentary, information, education, music, and entertainment. New just for you, 96.7. Now, you've heard the rest. Stay tuned for the best. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio and stay with us all day long.